and that's going to be a short pickup for Houston. Gain of two. Cliff Kingsbury was a guy who ran an offense much like this. He put up 12,000 yards over his career at Texas Tech as well, so he's very familiar with the passing game. it will be a great relationship that he has with Case Keenum and that kind of shoulder to, to rely on if you're Case Keenum, somebody to look up to as a mentor. Keenum cocks his arm, fires deep downfield and almost caught. But off the fingertips of Patrick Edwards. Boy, they move quickly and they look for big plays every other play. They really do. They set up those big plays with the shorter ones. We saw a few bubble screens. They throw it. You think, man, I got to get up there and cover them. Then they try to go over the top and beat you deep like they did there. Third down and eight. Keenum. Again, in the flat. This time, Penn State was ready for it, and Carrier dumped for a loss. Once again, that was what they had success with on the last third and down. They didn't blitz. They kept everybody in front of them and made a good tackle and open space. Kyrie Ford, number 11, made the tackle. And now Houston will have to kick it away. So Penn State, the last couple drives, had a little more success defensively against Houston. And this is Richie Leone with the punt. Drifting back off the fingertips of Drew Astorino, and he recovers, but it's going to be a long field now for the Nittany Lions. Cards of total offense so far for Penn State in this game. This time they go to Stephon Green, who might be Penn State's comeback player of the year. Suspended a couple of times for off-field issues early in the season. Missed the first six games. Started to become a factor in the run game late in the season. He really was an addition to their depth at running back. Galen Hall and Jay Paterno, the co-offensive coordinators now for Penn State, trying to figure something out that's going to ignite this offense. Bolden goes back to Green, and he is hit in the backfield. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, no gain. Penn State's going to have to loosen up this Houston defense because defensively, Houston is getting eight, nine guys around the line of scrimmage because they know what we all know, and that's that they're going to try to run the ball, use the play clock, and be very conservative with Robert Bolden. But what you've got to do if you're Penn State, you at least have to try some shots down the field to keep them honest. Eric Braswell on that last tackle, the youngest but most productive player on the defensive front for the Cougars. Third down and eight. Bolden has time to throw, does downfield, but it's short and incomplete. Davon Smith, the intended receiver, and another three and out for the Nittany Lions. They're third today. Well, they keep a very simple concept on the outside for Rob Bolden. They run a smash concept, which is basically you're going to have a corner route with a shorter route underneath it. All Bolden has to do is read that high-low concept. He makes the right read. Going to the corner route, it's wide open, just misses on the throw. Here's one more look, just underthrown. And you don't get guys more open than that. Devon Smith running that corner route. So Patrick Edwards back to return for Houston. He is standing basically in midfield. Farah from the end zone gets it away. And a fair catch at the 50-yard line. He was uh, my <laughs> broadcast partner a few times last year, and he said, enough of this. So here we go, 10-0 Houston back on offense in the first quarter. Keenum has yet to hand off another pass and another completion, this time to Patrick Edwards, a gain of seven, so second and three. And Penn State, what they're doing, they're just staying back, keeping all the Houston defenders in front of them, but it's way too easy right now for Case Keenum. He's not getting any pressure in his face. And a big part of what Penn State wanted to do was bat down those short, quick passes. They haven't been able to so far. Second down. Keenum over the middle. Tipped and incomplete. Went to Edwards again. Third down. So look at Cliff Kingsbury on your right. Does the play calling. Signal is in the case Keenum and when you've got a sixth year senior at quarterback he can almost run the offense by himself out there on the field plus they've got four seniors at the wide receiver position so everybody's very comfortable with the offense and the adjustments they have to make throughout the game. Kingsbury calls the plays and Jason Phillips 
former All-American receiver at Houston, handles the personnel. Here is Carrier. Tyron Carrier, the all-time receptions leader at Houston and Conference USA. 311 career catches coming into this game today. Third all-time in college football. First down and 10 for the Cougars. Keenum Cox throws. Man wide open. It's Edwards. Tries to step out of the tackle at the 10. Gets to the 8. Another big play for Houston. A gain of 26. Here, watch the bubble screen fake. You're going to fake the block and then hit upfield. Case Keenum, watch him pump fake the bubble screen right there, and that creates the wide open Edwards down the field. Defensive back really in a bind there on the outside. Malcolm Willis again, who got beat earlier for the touchdown. That time misplayed the read. Houston, eight first downs today. Penn State still looking for their first. Keenum, quick throw to the end zone. Touchdown. Justin Johnson. Eight-yard touchdown pass from Keenum. And right now, Houston is just putting on a clinic in the passing game. It's way too easy right now for Case Keenum and company. He's just playing pitch and catch out there, and there's not really, the, the routes aren't that contested out there, and Case Keenum's able to set his back foot, and when he does that, he's deadly from the pocket. Matt Hogan with the extra point. 17 to nothing, Houston. All of these points coming in the first quarter. They had just nine first quarter points in the previous four games. That was a bit of an issue. Slow starts for Houston coming in, but no problem today. Here's the look. All they do is run a little quick out route. Case Keenum reads the outside coverage, sees that he's got a cleared out fade route on the outside, and just delivers a perfect pass to Justin Johnson. And that ball is delivered right in stride, so Johnson can turn it up for Houston. Chaz Powell back with Adrian Amos. It's Amos who gets it across the 30-yard line down to the 32. That an uphill battle. So Bolden under center, play fake. Tries to throw and get out of trouble in the backfield. Throws it out of bounds. Great pressure by Zeke Reiser. As Bolden's difficulties getting started here continue, you see he has yet to complete a pass. Boy, that one wasn't his fault right there under extreme duress. Had to throw the football away, but he did have two easy passes he could have completed before. And then Case Keenum is making every pass look easy. You know, Penn State tries to get a little more aggressive with a play action on first down, but you've got to protect your quarterback. They brought in the Wildcat quarterback, Bill Belton. Belton, a wide receiver by trade, used in the Wildcat a lot against Ohio State and Wisconsin late in the season with some success. They bring him in just trying to get something going. I mean, offensively right now, Penn State is really struggling, and Houston because Penn State is so one-dimensional right now with their running game, they can load up that box. Brian Stewart said, we'll put everybody and their brother in the box until they beat us with a pass. Penn State 0 for 3 today on third down. Bolden back in there. Drops to throw and incomplete again. Well, we talked about giving Bolden short, easy passes, giving him screen passes, and that's what... Penn State tried to do that time. They tried to dial up the screen pass to Silas Red, who got caught up in the wash with a lot of offensive linemen just getting in his way. You see him on the right side of your screen, runs into his right tackle while he's trying to get to the ball. Really not much else that Rob Bolden could have done with that play. Here you see Jay Paterno in front of Bolden. This is the first game on the sideline for Paterno with Bolden as the starting quarterback. Paterno moved to the sidelines after Mike McQuarrie was put on administrative leave. Otherwise, he'd been upstairs the majority of the season. So there's a dynamic that's fresh and new. Number 30, five-yard penalty. Well, and Jay Paterno, who talked so much yesterday about Rob 
Bolton's confidence issues, the, you know, the fact that it has been a very big concern. He wants to be able to look at Rob Bolton in the eyes, talk to him, see how he's doing, his demeanor. And right now, you know, I think that's going to come into play throughout this game if they decide to make a change at the quarterback position. Farah shanked the punt. Takes a friendly Penn State roll, but everything going against the Nittany Lions right now. Trying to rally the troops here. Down 17 to nothing here late in the first quarter. Houston going back to work on offense. Keenum connects again, this time with E.J. Smith. He is another senior receiver. It seems like Houston has a boatload of these guys. That's a pickup of seven. They just keep coming at you. They have so many weapons on the outside. 20 different players have caught a touchdown pass for Houston. Hey, a running play. How about it? Charles Sims up the middle, and he's got a first down and more into Penn State territory to the 46-yard line. Willis finally brings him down, but they'll move the chains again. Well, they can slip in those little draws. When they throw it so often, defense starts looking for the pass. That's when you hit them underneath. Play fake. Keenum. That time a little off target. Trying to get Justin Johnson up the seam incomplete. Jordan Hill able to get some pressure on Case Keenum. He's only been knocked about two times this entire game. They need to do more of that. Force him to throw early, throw off their timing. <laughs> Look at that. 26 pass plays and only one rush. Keenum to the outside this time. Complete for a first down. Johnson the catch. Justin Johnson, his fifth catch today. He's got 56 yards receiving. Earlier, we saw Rob Bolden miss on a smash concept, which is a corner route with a shorter route underneath it. Case Keenum, do you see how early he threw that ball? His receiver, his head wasn't even turned around. Still delivered a perfect pass. To the 36 of Penn State with under a minute to go here in the opening quarter. It has been a dominating performance by the Cougars. Already over 200 yards passing for Case Keenum. Leading 17 to nothing. Complete caught at the 30. Dragging tacklers is Johnson. A couple of yards short of a first down. It'll bring up second down and two. Here's the last pass play. Look, the ball is out of. There's the receiver right there. His head is not turned around yet. The ball's already in the air from Keenum. That is perfect anticipation right there. Keenum rolling out. And incomplete. And that was 27 yards passing. Finally, Penn State challenging on the outside with their defensive backs. Keenum steps up. He will run. And he gets it inside the 20. Stupar stepped up to make the tackle, but it's a gain of nine for Keenum, who was given a sixth year from the NCAA after blowing out his knee last year against UCLA in week three has made a beautiful recovery and he can run when he has to and he's going to throw this one away as he was feeling pressure that time from the Penn State defense looked like a little miscommunication there between Case Keenum and his center the back was in motion in the backfield and the ball just came up really didn't look like anybody was ready watch the back coming in motion and the ball comes up catches Case Keenum by surprise wisely he just gets outside of the pocket and throws it away Second down and 10. This will be the ninth play of the drive for Houston. Keenum. Incomplete. Edwards started upfield without the football. And if you're Penn State, that's why the philosophy of keeping everybody in front of you, don't give up the big vertical play, because you're hoping for things like that to happen, a drop pass, a batted down pass. Make it a challenge for them. Make them have these sustained 9, 10, 11 play drives. Don't give up the big scoring plays like they did on the first one. So now Keenum has missed his last three pass attempts. Penn State trying to stop this drive in its tracks. Third down and 10. Play clock under 10. Keenum. And again throws it away. Case Keenum did not like what he saw on that pass route. Just looked like a very deliberate throwaway. Trying to go to Patrick Edwards on the outside. That ball might have made the first row in the stands. 
So Hogan will come on for another field goal attempt. He hit from 35 earlier today. Joss, 